Hi, it's Darrell with Reward Wall Systems again. Hey, today we're here to talk about the tie key that we have, a masonry wall tie that'll tie a solid attachment back to the concrete wall. We have two types. We have a stainless steel and a, and a galvanized, hot dip galvanized. The hot dip galvanized is the most common used. Uh, some projects require a stainless steel, which we can also supply a stainless steel tie key. What these tie keys do is they attach a masonry veneer or a stone veneer back to an ICF wall system and we get uh, a solid attachment back to the concrete wall with this tie key when uh, the project would require such a requirement to meet the building code or to meet the, the project specs. So what the, the tie key will do is it, it will be installed before we make the concrete pour. So the ICF installer will install the forms and then they'll get the layout for the masonry tie key. And what we do is cut it in with a simple, either a keyhole saw or possibly a, a jab saw with a, a drywall saw. And it's pretty simple to install and don't take really that long. What I will do is I'll take this basic concept of this wall that we have here today, which has our ledge form with our steel reinforced accelerator to support the ledge and as I'd start out and I'd lay my my tie key out and I'd probably start right off the corner and I would space my tie key at a increment four for my brick veneer which eight inches should start out and then work so what I would do is I'd start right off the corner and I'd cut about a two and a half inch hole right alongside of our tie and then I would lay it out. A typical layout is every two foot horizontal and every 16 inches vertical, which will meet the building code in most cases. So at that spacing there, I'll go over two foot. So my two foot layout is gonna work out right next to my next tie, which would be right alongside the tie and right in the middle of the form. So I'm gonna cut another slot at about two and a half inches and it does not have to be exact by no means. So then I continue down this wall laying them out right in the center of my form which is that cut line there is at eight inches. I would continue every two foot and then on my next coursing I'd come up 16 inches which would be again right in the middle of the form and then I would be able to come back through and place my tie key which has a flange here that will butt right up against where the tie is at. And I'll be able to push that in to the form and I'll center it right on my cut line. So now I've got two tie keys laid out. And the tie key gives us a spot of two inches of adjustment for a triangular wire tie, which the triangular wire tie is a product that's readily available from your masonry supply center. And these come in different sizes. And this, this would be installed after when the, when the masonry contractor is there and they're gonna put the veneer onto the wall. So this doesn't even go in to the tie key at this point in time. So this is just something the mason has to have when he comes to do the, the veneer. So now I've laid out my tie key. I'm going down the wall. What I'm going to do is just to temporarily secure it into place. I'm going to take a standard drywall screw and I'm going to attach that right into the form. That'll hold the tie key right where you want it to be. When the concrete pours, it'll encase that part of the tie key and you got a solid attachment for your veneer back to the concrete wall, which works great in like seismic applications, really big in the commercial market. Uh, the other thing nice about the tie key is this tie key will work in, in any type of ICF form. So it's not just something that has to be used in the reward wall systems, but it is available to work in any ICF wall system. So great product, solid attachment. It's one of a kind out in the market.